Another myth that I see a lot is on 100% juice. I did a degree in dietetics where I was told it's just sugars, no fiber. It doesn't make you feel full and it makes you fat. It's ignoring a bit of the micronutrients and bioactives. We published the highest level of evidence you can possibly get on 100% juice and health. And we found that there is no association with increased weight, with insulin, with glucose from systematic literature reviews of randomized trials where they're giving them juice compared to water. So no adverse metabolic effect, no increased weight, etc., etc. But what was interesting is we found level B grade evidence for cardiovascular health, for C-reactive protein, for blood pressure lowering, higher level of evidence than we currently have to omit ultra-processed foods from the diet. Everyone talks about how we need to omit ultra-processed foods from the diet. That's very low grade level of evidence in the confidence that we have that the association is true. Whereas with the juice research we did, it was actually level B, which is the second highest. In nutrition science, we hardly ever get that level of confidence with clinically meaningful reductions. So it really changed myself as a researcher doing that science and most of us in the team because we went, wow, it actually can be a health-promoting beverage.